You know, when times are tough, you got to have a senator who's willing to put party labels aside. You have to have a senator who uh, will not cave in to the powers that be on whatever issue they want that particular day. You have to have a senator who will stand up and stand firm for Arkansas. And we have that senator. Her name's Blanche Lincoln. I I've had the privilege of serving in the Senate alongside her for the last seven years. And let me tell you something, Blanche Lincoln is on your side. She comes in that office every single day. I've seen her hundreds of times stand up to the most liberal or the most conservative senators, the most liberal, the most conservative House members. I've seen her stand up to the leaders of both parties, and I've seen her stand up and speak truth to two presidents, and that would be President Bush and President Obama. She's not afraid to stand up for Arkansas. She has the toughness that we need. She has the skills that we need in Washington to bring consensus, to try to bring everybody together to solve the problems that face this nation. She's offering real solutions, not a bunch of rhetoric, but real solutions to the problems facing this country and facing this state. She's on your side. She has a uh, do what's best for Arkansas philosophy that doesn't fit squarely into one party or the other's agenda. Uh, she gets criticized from the left and the right because she tries to do what her convictions tell her is the right thing to do and some of these people on the left and right want her to be loyal to their point of view, but there's a difference about Blanche Lincoln, and that is she's loyal to Arkansas. <laughs> she's on your side, and let me tell you something. When you look at the U.S. Constitution, our founding fathers put it in the Constitution, Article I, that every state gets two senators. Those are the only two advocates you have in the United States Senate for your state. That's it. The people from Mississippi aren't going to be there to help you. The people from Maine don't help you. You get two from Arkansas. That's what you get. And we have a choice to make in this state. Do we want to send Blanche Lincoln, who is dedicated every single day, do we want to send her back to Washington to work for Arkansas, or do we want someone who's part of a political agenda and political philosophy that's not going to represent us very well? I think the choice is clear. There's been a lot of talk about Blanche being chair, chairman of the Senate Agriculture Committee, which she is. We've had a lot of great senators in this state. Our state has been blessed over the years with really, really strong and effective U.S. senators. For a state our size, we've, we've had a disproportionate number of those, and I'm very appreciative of them and for their legacy and for their uh, role models that they provided for Blanche and me up there. The fact, but all those great people, they did a lot of great things, but none of them were the chairman of the Senate Agriculture Committee. She's the first Arkansan we've ever had in that position. And listen, we love, we love our Fortune 500 companies in this state. We love our big manufacturers. We love it when the governor makes an announcement that he's going to bring X number of jobs to the state. Man, that's great. But the bread and butter, the backbone of Arkansas's economy is small business and agriculture. And we've got the right person in the right spot. But you know what, it's more than that. It's more than just ag. People hear that, that, that name, Agriculture Committee, and they think all they do is ag. It does a lot more than that. One thing is it uh, takes care and looks after nutrition issues all over the country. That's the committee where we make sure people in this country, the greatest country in the world, don't go hungry, okay? All over the country, we make sure that they don't go hungry. And it's also the, the one committee in the Senate that advocates for rural America. And we need that strong voice for rural America in Washington. You know, I could go through all of Blanche's committees because she's on the finance committee and she's helped small businesses. She's helped with the child tax credit. She, I mean, there's a long list of things she's done to help Arkansas uh, through the Finance Committee and help Arkansas businesses grow. She, we talk about the Aging Committee. We still have a very high 
proportion of senior citizens in this state. She's the champion on aging uh, in the Senate and just goes in there in that committee every day and does great things. She's on the Energy Committee. I mean, do we have that's one of those challenges I talked about before about this country. We have major challenges when it comes to energy. She's right there looking out for Arkansas on energy. I could run through, I guess, you know, 12 years of record for her in the United States Senate and lay out all the great things she's done for the people of the state of Arkansas. But really what I want to say right now in closing is that Blanche Lincoln loves Arkansas. She has never forgotten the people who sent her to Washington. And let's give her a big hand. Blanche, come on up here and say it.